be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Maker Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over how to make beats in Logic Pro 10.8. All right, so there's a lot of different, you know, options and ways and it's really endless ways to create different melodies, drum patterns and everything like that. I'm gonna be going over a few different tips, a few different tricks in the software now first thing you do have to make sure that you have the latest version just go ahead make sure that you're up to date with the latest os you know what i mean you may or may not have to uh, update your computer i had to update my computer when there was the first update to logic pro 10.5 so it's things to consider but once you get the uh you know the software open this is what you're going to see all right you have different ways that you can create like i said you got the midi tracks you know what I'm saying you have a pattern track right here drummer and we have audio so what we're going to be highlighting right now is this uh the midi and pattern now we can go in a lot of different ways but i'm going to start off with a midi track we're going to software instrument go to the quick sampler all right and then i'm going to push create now the first thing i want to bring up is a quick sampler because you know as producers whether you're doing hip-hop trap r&b pop whatever the first thing you want to know is like man how can i get some drums in here you feel me? So um, let's just say if you go over here and pick up the Rap Lords kit that we have on our site, beatmakingbasics.com. Uh, All right, shameless plug. You know what I mean? And you want to, you know, get these sounds into Logic Pro 10.8. What you could do is, like I said, pull up this quick sampler, okay? And then just drag something in. Let's get this kick. Put that in there like that. Command K, pull up this musical typing. And then we got this kick in here. Now, if you want to save that kick, go where it says default preset and then go save as. Simple as that. Um, you can name it whatever. All right. Now, when you want to pull that up, again, go here under instrument. If you're new, just scroll all the way to the middle right here. And then, you know, you could choose whether you want to do stereo or mono. Primarily, uh, most of the time for like drums, you're going to go ahead and do mono. You can do stereo for some drums. It's up to you as a producer, you know what I'm saying? What sounds best based on the instrument sound you're using. But I can come over here now, and then you'll see all your sounds start to pile up right here. So now we got our kick. So that's the first thing I want to show y'all. Now, let's go ahead and look at what we could do to get a melody started. Now that we know how to bring in drum sounds. Okay. So we'll go ahead. Um, we'll start with actually a pattern track instead. All right. We'll go to software instrument. And under here, we'll go with, say, alchemy. Okay. We're going to use the reason why we'll do alchemy for this one. Just because this guarantees that everybody will have the sounds. You feel me? Simple enough, right? Click on that. This is Alchemy. You're already familiar with this if you've already been on like some of the older versions. But it's a huge sound bank. You can, you know, look up different sounds based on genre, timbre, different things like that. So let's just scroll like that. I mean, literally 3,000 plus sounds. And we'll open up this uh, musical typing again. And then what we can do now. Is come over here and right click and then go to create pattern region all right from here you can come over and choose steps you can do 16 steps 32 steps or 64 steps or any of these other steps and what you'll see is basically these start to add up to your measures right here so if you just click this and make a highlight on uh, say like a four bar loop You'll start to see the pattern that you can create now you can come over here and change the key you can go from major to minor okay so let's just start with C uh, minor and we'll start typing some notes in cool so now we have this pattern and 
what you can do is you can push control option command and M and that will uh, basically convert it to an, a MIDI track now we can come in here and push command a and push shift option up and we can move it up or down octaves so now we got a melody real quick all right so we have a melody we got a drum track um, let's go ahead and start making a, a beat Obviously it's a little off, but we can just double click that. It's gonna bring us right into the piano roll. Command A, come over here, time quantize, quantize, my bad. And uh, push the Q, that locks it in place. Sometimes you have to move this up or down, you know, depending on, you know, how many notes you have in here. So we have a kick. What I can do is push Command D and I can double this Go over here to the inspector window, open this back up, and then we can go back to our kit. Let's look for like a snare or whatever. Let's let's bring in, let's see what these claps sound like. All right, so we're gonna throw that in there. And we can do it one or two ways. We can keep on using the piano roll, or if you have a MIDI keyboard, you keep on using it like that. Or you can come over here, right click, create pattern region. And a simple trick with a high, with a clap or a snare, go dead center in this, and it will automatically, most of the time, create your um, snare or clap pattern. And you can push command D and you can make some hi-hats. Let's switch the sound out. Come over here, go back to our kit. Let's go with some hats. Now, <clears throat> My bad. Usually I use the step sequencer to at least get the hi-hat pattern started. And then you can move this in place like that. But then you can come over here and move some more steps. So I'll go 64 steps. And then I can come over here. And do like note and repeat. And I can do some stuff, cool stuff like this. Just randomly placing these notes here. And we can change this up later. All right, let's check out what we just made. So we can push control option command M, convert that, control option, control option command M. And now we got our beat right here that we just cooked up. We can do some other things with this melody. Uh, we can throw this into sample alchemy. That's the latest uh, plugin for Logic Pro 10.8. And we can now play it and you know use these different modes and it can sound completely different.
So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Quantize. Of course, legato. So we'll take it all the way to the end for sure. And then what we can do from here is we can play around more with this let's add different layers to the um to the to to your to your to your melody you can come over here and mess around with these guys as well stock reverbs just for this one. And then let's go ahead and throw like an 808 on there. Just command D double that. Throw a little 808 in here. For some reason, it's real low. You can turn it up. Let's put it up. Let's, let's find something else. saying double that and I can play around with this uh, 808 pattern so I kind of messed it up but you get the point and come in here Quantize this. I can come over and move the notes around as I need. You can hold Option down and push the up or down uh, arrow to you know move it up semitones. Zoom in here, hold down option. I'm just gonna throw something, you got just got, just got a pattern just to get it going here. Now I can come over here and highlight it. Command A, right click, force legato. Let's use that like glide right there. 
anyway, y'all, um, there's a lot that you can do to this. We can also come over here and throw uh, the Beat Breaker plugin on. On the melody. Half time it. Or you can do some other cool stuff. Come over here, affect the time, repeat it, or the volume. So let's mess with the time. Now let's mess with the repeat. command D hold down option after you grab it take it down highlight it we can just push shift option up take it up an octave let's check it out now Appreciate y'all watching the video. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Make sure you also go ahead and leave me a comment, hit the like button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Wrap.